the ultimate guide to Cartier jewelry. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our ultimate guide to Cartier jewelry. Cartier is regarded as one of the most prestigious jewelry manufacturers in the world. It was a jeweler of choice among royalty, celebrities and tycoons, and until this date continues to attract the attention of jewelry lovers around the world. Cartier's history is filled with amazing pieces that are worth getting to know, so make sure to check my video about the top 10 most iconic Cartier pieces. Here in this video, I'll show you Cartier history and some of their most important collections. If it is your dream to own a Cartier piece, I'm sure you will love this video. At the end of the video, we have a bonus fact about the Jeweler of Kings that may surprise you. So without further ado, here is the ultimate guide to Cartier jewelry. If you are new here, welcome! Please subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Luxicom. The History of Cartier The House of Cartier was founded in 1847 when the 28-year-old Louis-François Cartier took over a shop in Paris. His son Alfred took over the company in 1874, by which time it already had an excellent reputation. However, it was Alfred's three sons, Louis, Pierre and Jacques, who would go on to establish Cartier as a world-famous jewelry brand. While Louis retained the responsibility for Paris, in 1902 Jacques went to London and only two years later received the royal warrant, thereby supplying jewelry to King Edward VII and his court. Pierre traveled to New York, where in 1917 he famously acquired 653 Fifth Avenue, which remains a flagship store to this day. Since then, the Maison has expanded globally, becoming what many consider to be the finest jewelry house in the world. Its clientele has included royalty, film stars and business tycoons. King Farouk of Egypt, the Duchess of Windsor, Elizabeth Taylor, Grace Kelly and Clark Gable were all loyal customers of the house. Cartier Trinity Rings The famous Cartier Tree Ring made its first appearance almost 100 years ago, in 1924, during the Art Deco craze. It was designed by Jean Rocotou, the French writer, painter, filmmaker and poet, who was a great friend of Louis Cartier. The simplicity of the three interlocking rings, each of a different gold color, quickly became a classic. It seemed appropriate that this ring, which supposedly symbolized friendship, fidelity and love, should be a favorite among jewelry collectors. It is also to be noted that the technicality of the Trinity models, as simple as it may look, is an incredible achievement, allowing the three bands to slide smoothly over the skin. Cartier Panther The Panther is one of the most well-known motifs of the brand. In 1914, the famous designer Charles Jacot created a wristwatch with an onyx spotted panther pattern that was the first great cat motif of Cartier. Through the years, the initial pattern has evolved into fully sculptured animals, and the array of cats now includes the striped tiger as well as the panther. Promoted to director of high jewelry at Cartier in 1933, Jean Toussaint, a feline lover who was nicknamed the Panther by Louis Cartier, and her colleagues immediately took over the responsibility for supervising the great cat designs. Together with the outstanding creativity of designer Peter Le Marchand, she produced a variety of jewels, which forever immortalized the feline motif. In 1948, a three-dimensional panther was specially made for the Duchess of Windsor, and after that, the panther gained huge popularity among prominent clients. Daisy Fellowes and Nina Dyer, for example, both appropriated this new look. After more than 100 years and multiple variations, the Cartier Panther continues to be a must-have for jewelry lovers. New designs from the 1980s and 1990s have only furthered the demand for these rare and spectacular jewels. This information was taken from the Christie's website, one of the best luxury auction houses in the world, so if you love collector pieces, make sure to check it out. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so I can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Tutti Frutti by Cartier Change and innovation is something Cartier has always been proud of. 
Jacques Cartier first visited India in 1911 and started acquiring Indian rubies, sapphires and emeralds. Contrasting with the typical diamond-based Art Deco jewels, Cartier's ateliers in Paris started designing a new style of multi-gem jewels, using the stones from India. It would become known as the Tutti Frutti style. The collection reached its peak with the Hindu necklace, a stunning piece commissioned in 1936 by the Harris to the Singer Sewing Machine Company, Daisy Fellowes. Today, Tutti Frutti pieces are prized by collectors, one sold at an auction last year for $1.3 million, and they are revered as icons of the Art Deco era that offer a perfect marriage between Eastern and Western cultures. Love and Justin Clo. Aldo Cipullo joined Cartier New York in 1969, and within two years he had created two of the most iconic Cartier designs, the Love and the Justin Clo. The designs were minimalist, whimsical, and ingenious. The Love bracelet, a band in two sections, has to be screwed together with the aid of a screwdriver, provided by Cartier, of course. Once in place, the bracelet is not to be removed. In a brilliant marketing move, Cartier made the decision to gift his and her love bracelets to the most famous couples of the era, including Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton and Steve McQueen and Ellie McGraw. It is rumored that Cartier once prohibited customers from buying love bracelets for themselves, with a policy stating that they could only be purchased by a couple. A symbol as strong as the eternity ring itself, the love bracelet has been for more than 40 years a token of love and attachment. On the other hand, Justin Clough combines the functional inspiration of the Dada art movement with the audacious essence of 70s New York. Relaunched in 2012, it instantly imbued today's modern spirit with its striking nail-inspired silhouette and pure lines. Available in a multitude of gold and diamond-adorned variations, this style touches everything from classic bracelets and rings to eccentric cufflinks and tie pins. Justin Clo breaks through conventions, with its unapologetic minimalism asserting the essence of its wearer. Cartier Mystery Clocks What's not to love when you combine incredible craftsmanship, timeless designs, and a bit of magic? Very much inspired by the magic clocks of famous 19th century illusionist Jean Eugene Robert Houdin, Maurice Coué, a young clockmaker at Cartier, astonished the industry by exploiting the same illusion, but in a traditional clockmaking way, creating the first ever mystery clock in 1913. Hands floating, no mechanisms to be seen, the magic trick of these clocks fascinated Cartier clients and sales staff alike. The mystery clocks created by Cartier during the Art Deco period blend exquisite craftsmanship, elegant design, and the most technologically advanced mechanisms, resulting in works that continue to entertain and mesmerize the observer with their illusion and beauty. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. The Jeweler of Kings, the King of Jewelers King Edward VII of England used to refer to Cartier as the Jeweler of Kings and the King of Jewelers. This reputation was such that at the coronation of King George V in June 1911, 19 of the tiaras worn at the ceremony were by Cartier. From Spain to England, Belgium to Russia, India to Siam, kings and queens around the world made Cartier their official supplier of royal jewelry. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, I'll provide you with the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!